And there's a, a new global initiative called the COVAX facility, which has invited countries who will both purchase their own vaccines or who have who are poorer countries and donors purchase their vaccines to put in an advance order for effective vaccines for 20% of their population. And so far, uh, 165 countries worldwide have indicated they'd like to do this. And the exciting thing about this is that if we can get enough countries with enough buying power, it becomes a very, very strong economic argument to big companies who, are many, who will likely manufacture vaccines in the future to actually cooperate. And, and it's one way to get mm. equitable access throughout the world. It's such a crucial issue. When it comes to you making recommendations, as you say, that is your role, how soon will you decide? Because surely it's also an issue of who puts in their orders first until we get this joint bargaining position. Well, from the regulatory authority point of view, it's for what's called an applicant to apply. So they, so once we get, I mean, touch wood, that we're going to get uh, <laughs> successful uh, results um, for this vaccine and for, there are many other vaccines now in clinical development. So we're hoping to get more than just one vaccine uh, coming through. Um, once the data is available, then the people will apply, an applicant will apply to the regulatory authority, who will then review the, the clinical data, the, what we call the preclinical data, the laboratory data, and if there's data in, in animal studies as well, and we'll look at the manufacturing of the vaccine. Um, but obviously, we'll do this as a matter of urgency. SAPRA is, has prioritized all COVID research and will prioritize the registration of products for, for COVID treatment or prevention um, as a high priority. So this will be done as a real matter of urgency, um, but it will depend on having the data presented to the regulatory authority. Well, thank you very much uh, for giving us your insights into what looks like a fantastic breakthrough in uh, the search for a vaccine. Very hopeful early signs. Thank you. Professor Helen Reese, she's executive director of the WITS um, Health Product Authority. Um, she's executive director of the Bits Reproductive Health and HIV Institute. She's also chairperson of the SA Health Products Regulatory Authority.